Welcome everybody. This is going to be our MRS 21 Fall 2020 midterm uh, midterm review question number two. And this one deals with, uh, I guess, a word problem. We're going to be writing uh, this given information coming up with functions here. So Annie is making designer masks to sell online. It costs her $1,500 to start her business and $3.25 for each mask she produces for up to 200 masks. She plans to charge $20 for each mask she sells. To determine her profit, she will take how much money she has made from her selling her mask, called the revenue, and subtract how much it costs, which is her cost function. If X is the number of masks produced or sold, find A, C of X, the cost function, and R of X, the revenue function. So a couple of things. That, um, probably one function is a lot easier to find the other, and that's the revenue function. You say, well, what's revenue mean? Revenue is going to be how much that she's going to collect for every mask. And so, for example, if she sold one mask, all right, she would make $20, all right? If she sold two masks, she would collect, not make, but collect two times 20 and 40. She sells 10 masks, she would, sell, she would collect 20 times 10, which is 200. So our revenue function, I'll call it R of X, is going to be, in this case, the $20 for each mask times the number of masks sold is x, so that would be just 20x. So r of x equals 20x. That's the first one. So revenue function normally is going to be just how much you're charging times how much time you're going to sell, and if you're not unsure what the number you're going to sell, we use x for that. Now for the cost function. Now the cost is a little bit different here. C of x. Let us consider in this case that if she sells no masks, she still has to pay this fifteen hundred dollars to start her business. That's when that's for the most part no masks are sold. So even before any masks are sold, she's got to pay one thousand five hundred dollars. So that's going to be the beginning part of her function, 1,500. But then every mask she, she produces will cost her additional $3.25. So if she, if she produces only one mask, it will cost her 1,500 plus 325, which would be in this case, $1,503.25. If she was to produce only two masks, then she would she would, she would her cost would be one thousand five dollars, her starting cost, plus two times three hundred three dollars twenty five cents, which would be in this case six fifty, so one thousand five hundred six dollars and fifty cents. And so we find in this case she's going to pay the one thousand five dollars no matter what, and then on top of that. She's going to pay an additional $3.25 for each mass she produces. And since X is the number of mass produced, it would be, in this case, her cost function is going to be 1,500 plus 3.25X. Or if you want to, you can put the other, you can put the 3.25X 3, 3 plus 1,500, but this will be our cost function. So we take the initial cost, the starting cost plus the cost per mask. So this is really the starting cost. Plus cost of masks. And that's how we find this now. All right. So that's part A. That's part A. Part B in this case, is to find the profit function. And the profit function, P of X, P of X, they tell us, is equal to the revenue function, R of X, minus the cost function, C of X. Well, P of X will just be, in this case, the revenue function we know is 20X. And the cost function we figured out to be 1,500, plus 3.25x. Well, keep in mind we're distributing this negative 1 here. So we're going to get, in this situation, 
20x minus 1,500 minus 3.25x. Combine like terms, the 20x and the 3.25x, and move down a little bit here, so get a little space here. So we will get p of x equal to, well, 20 minus 3.25 is going to be 16.75x minus 1,500. And that's going to be our profit function. So profit is not just how much we collect. We got to take how much we collected overall from all the sales and then subtract our cost. Now, there are two other parts to this question. Let me make this full page here for now. You guys get a good view of this. There are two other question, two parts of this question that continue here. And so we will see here with the same information. Part C, what is the least number of masks Annie must sell for her profit to be greater than zero? Let me make this full page width again. Now, for a profit to be greater than zero. And if you remember, her profit function, P of X, has to be greater than zero. That means we have inequality 16.75X minus 1,500. That's our profit function. That's what we calculate. And we want that to be greater than zero. And so now we're going to add, one, add 1,500 to both sides. And we get 16.75x is greater than 1,500. So you're wondering how do we solve? Solve like any inequality, same as any of the uh, equation we have. Just if we divide or multiply by negative 1 on both sides, we're going to change the direction of inequality. But we're not going to do that here. So, so you take the 1,500 and divide by 16.75, right? And so we get, in this case, take the calculator divide by 16.75, we will get x is going to be greater than 89.552 dot dot dot. Now the question says, what is the least number of mass A must sell? Well, since x is the number of mass she sells, okay, all right, that must mean our number of mass has to be 90. X is 90. All right, that's the least number of mass. So she must sell, in this case, at least 90 mass to make a profit. Okay, now at 90, it's a very small profit, mind you, but still it's a profit, though. And you don't go into business to lose money. All right, finally, what is the most any what's the most profit Annie can make? And again, this goes back to our profit function. Our profit function, P of X, is equal to 16.75 X plus, oh sorry, minus 1,500, not plus, but minus. So what's the most profit? Well, considering in this case, we also read that she produces up to 200 mass. This is our maximum number, almost like a domain in this case, the, the biggest value of X we can use. And so now to figure out the profit, the greatest profit, we're going to find P of 200, which would be 16.75 times 200 minus 1,500. So we'll take our calculator. We're going to multiply 16.75 and multiply that by 200, we're going to get, in this case, 3,350 minus 1,500. So our max profit in this case, if we subtract these two, <clears throat> is equal to 1,850 dollars. Okay? And that will be the answer for this one. So we see in this case that if Annie sells at least 90 masks, she will make she will make a profit. And the most that she can profit, and this is after paying all the costs that she can keep and take home, the most she can make in this case will be 1,850. 
okay? So it definitely requires you to try to understand the reading of the question here. Try to remember in this case that costs normally, if they would have so-called a uh, initial start, starting cost, and of course, the, the we call a variable cost, which is the cost of producing each item directly, okay? And so that was the hard part for the for finding the cost function. But once you have that, the rest of this kind of combined polynomials and interpreting, interpreting in this case, how we can use our functions to help us solve our answers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of question number two. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, leave a like for the video if you found it helpful. And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this, again, hope you do well. Make sure to show all your work, ladies and gentlemen. Show all work to do, get the max number of points. All right. So look forward to seeing you in the next video. So everyone take care and be safe.